Hello, Buzzacles! My name is Hatsuzi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where we are nearing the goal of this series, having a farm for everything. There are only two things that we're missing, gas grass, for that we need a rocket, and we need a better rocket than we have here. Uh, which means we have to uh, finish uh, our research um, currently we are down here um, doing research for the hydrogen engine um, which means we have to build up a facility to create liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen for that engine um, and we have to send up some more rockets because we need more research and uh, we need um, we also need uh, some materials from outer space uh, more precisely we need fullerene so we can have super coolant and we need is resin uh, in order to produce uh, insulation. But I think first let's focus on the uh, science because uh, if we add um, uh, a cargo bay that adds a lot of weight to the rocket so we need more fuel to get uh, to the to the same asteroids. So let's try to get all the research done. Then we can shrink down the, the rocket a bit. Uh, we don't need any research modules at that point. Uh, and then maybe we can um, live with, with just uh, uh, one uh, oxygen module, one uh, petroleum module, uh, until we get to uh, the the point where we uh, fetch, uh, where we switch to the to the hydrogen rocket. But I think we will dig out a bit of an area here on this side, so we can uh, build up our, um, our uh, facility for the uh, splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen. And this will be a bit of a process. Uh, we will have it somewhere in this area. So we have this short, uh, so we have the, the liquid hydrogen tank as close as possible to the rocket because uh, especially hydrogen is a bit finicky with temperatures uh, so we don't want to have uh, long pipes uh, piping it into the, the rocket um, and we need those pipes to be made out of insulation which is quite a, a tedious process uh, to gather. So, you know, that's, that's the plan um, for today. Um, today, uh, I will um, put in the choco that I got a few episodes back when we did one episode where we did two farms. So, no farms today, but preparation for the next one. We have made a good start here up with the uh, setup for our uh, liquefaction of oxygen and uh, hydrogen. Here we have a setup where we can uh, split the water into, into those materials. All we need here, of course, is a pump. And then 
we have the wire we need the, the pipe going out here or maybe there and then have a filter for oxygen and nitrogen and this setup is kind of ingenious because well there uh, is needed to be uh, cooling but the, the the cooling that we will need here on top that's where we have a, a classic uh, um, cooling setup with uh, thermo aqua tuner similar like we have here and uh, turbines on top but the neat thing here is that with these diamond window tiles on the side we will use those to transfer the coolness of the uh, uh, liquid oxygen from down here uh, up to where we have the steam engines and in the middle of course we have a bit of a warmer section with the, the cooling and the steam important thing here is that we need to get uh, a proper vacuum in here um, so let's open those and i think once we have this uh, covered up and enclosed it should be easier to get a vacuum in here without the need to actually pump anything out and once we have vacuum in here uh, we can close off here and consider the, the next layer here on top with the aqua tuners and then the third layer with the uh, steam engine to cool everything down and of course there's a bit more that goes in here but that's basically how it works our facility to create liquid oxygen and hydrogen is done uh, what we are lacking here is, of course, the uh, coolant, the super coolant. Um, I have prepared a basin down here. Here we can produce uh, the gases. Um, and for the super coolant, we need fluorine. Uh, fluorine. And for the piping, uh, basically coming out of of the tank and into the rocket we want to have insulation pipes so the uh, uh, the gas the, the, the liquids do not change state in in the pipes that that would not be good I mean here for the uh, oxygen uh, we can do with ceramic pipes uh, but for hydrogen we really need the insulation pipes however um, we do have two problems we don't have insulation and we don't have clay uh, to create uh, enough ceramic um, so those are probably two things we have to import from space if we look at uh, the space with the current rocket we can get to to here or here but none of these uh, five bottom tier asteroids have insulation they have fullerene so i think we go and uh, and grab them and we do that by replacing this module um with uh with a cargo module and we should still be able to reach the bottom two um the bottom two asteroids but that allows us to uh, create uh, uh, super coolant uh, then we can kick off this setup and uh, have uh, 
a better rocket going. So let me quickly see because we do need to have unloading here. So let's do that. And to build the the, the rail here, we will do just a bit of lighter and once the the rail for unloading is done um, we will uh, place the, the cargo section there and here we will just drop everything down i kicked off our liquefaction setup and as you can see we are uh, producing liquid oxygen um, we have quite a bit of air in here uh, that will turn into liquid uh, oxygen pretty pretty soon and at that point uh, we can kick off uh, this setup here uh, which brings in uh, more water more uh, oxygen more uh, hydrogen and currently this is not connected there so we can empty this pipe because maybe we need a bit more petroleum uh, until we get to the to the final stretch where we can actually have our hydrogen rocket because for that we really need uh, the the good stuff the insulation uh, so we can can pipe the things through um, but i think we will have uh, here uh, the uh, tank for the liquid uh, oxygen and then two tanks for the for the hydrogen uh, so we want to minimize the uh, lengths we have to pump the liquid hydrogen because that's uh, the uh, liquid that's more difficult to transport due to uh, to um, the, the coolness that we we have to, to keep um, we can fill up the rocket again. Uh, we still need a bit more uh, fullerene for uh, um, for the super coolant. I think here on this side we are good with the amount that we have, but we also want to uh, fill in a bit more here on this side. And currently we are at minus um, 83 and we are cooling it down to minus 190 but yeah that's that's all going on so it will be a while until we have this set up where we where we want to be and research is finished so basically we can shrink down the the rocket in order to uh, go further out even with the petroleum engine in order to get that uh, that insulation that we need and we will see how we manage that in the meantime we also have a tiny bit of liquid hydrogen uh, progress is a bit slow but on the uh, other side liquid oxygen we almost have enough so the system would stop and I have reworked the Rocketeer to have a liquid oxygen tank so we can pump in the uh, liquid oxygen instead of having to rely on uh, on oxalite and uh, as you can see we are pumping oxygen in and we are still figuring out 
uh, where we want to go. We looked at uh, this this uh, satellite here. Uh, we are looking for one that has iso resin. So this one uh, has something that we are not sure of, and this one has two items that we we have to look at. So in total, gets uh, three trips uh, out to four thousand. And then we can also reach these two uh, with, the, with the current setup. Well, let's tank up on uh, oxygen and then head out there uh, to see uh, where, where we are at. It's been a while since the last segment that I recorded and uh, there have been some changes slight changes so let's walk you through them for once some of the letters have been replaced by plastic variants because the duplicants can just run a bit faster on those and they i think are also a bit nicer to look at then down here we have also added a tube to get around faster and that basically at least at some point prevented them from complaining about long commutes because they can down here uh, pretty fast we even have uh, uh, two stations down here to get back up again but of course, if they have to go back here, they can get there pretty fast, but then they have to walk uh, at least back to here. And on the top, we basically have the same thing. Also, the, the, the way there is, is not that long. And we have one exit here and another all the way up to here uh, so they can grab whatever ever material they they need to from up here then i also set up a, a proper electrolysis setup um, for our tanks and as you can see we now have enough liquid hydrogen uh, to be able to pump things out um, but we are still lacking the uh, proper material or enough of the proper material to to lay all the pipes we have insulite and uh, finally we found an asteroid that supplies it uh, but of course it's quite a bit out there it's this one uh, 5,000 kilometers so a round trip takes 14.6 uh, cycles um, and we get 5% back so uh, with, a, with a payload of one ton that's 50 kilograms per uh, per trip and that's um, sufficient for a few hundred kilos of uh, insulite and we need to have a pipe going from this pump to there and up there so that's about 15 15 pieces that we need um, for the hydrogen uh, I have uh, normal piping and for the most part this this works uh, occasionally when we pipe them through in this direction uh, the pipe gets damaged but not too much and uh, liquid oxygen is not that uh, rare not that costly as the as the hydrogen and as you can see we have here the standard loop and here we have a shot off so we can loop the other direction around into the tank uh, and then 
back here in again. The other thing that we need for our insulation, um, or for insulite, we need is a resin we get from, from outer space. Absolent, we, we have quite a bit. Um, and um, uh, we need reed fiber that we also have um, stuck up for, for quite a while now. But now let's see uh, how far we get uh, with, with the insulite that we have. So let's replace these two uh, end pieces and then connect to, to down here. And as you can see, we have already run out of, of insulite. Then the part over here, that will be difficult to, to build um, because we cannot reach that, but we need to switch out the tank anyway. So we will just wait until we have enough material. Um, we can plan out the, the pipe going over and once we uh, deconstruct the tank to replace it with a new one, then we can go in and, uh, and build the pipe actually. But I think I have uh, a few more cycles ahead of me to gather enough uh, uh, is a resin for the insulite. Meanwhile, I have managed to get enough uh, insulation together so I can plan out the whole pipe to these two tanks. So with that, we will get rid of the petroleum engine. After the save and add uh, hydrogen engine and as you can see we do have quite a bit of um, of fuel however I think if we continuously want to launch rockets uh, we will run out of uh, liquid hydrogen pretty pretty soon uh, for the uh, oxygen I have started to replace the piping with ceramic. Uh, ceramic is not as good as insulation, but almost. And uh, if we have uh, the whole pipe replaced, uh, hopefully we should not have uh, any more issues with pipe breakage. So let's see about the engine here and ceramic is made out of clay clay is something we don't have naturally here um, on this on this planet on this asteroid so I have resorted to to a bit of a of a trick because you get clay if you have a deodorizer uh, for polluted oxygen, you feed in, uh, what is it, sand, I think. Sand or uh, regolite, and you get out clay. So that's how I collected all the, all the clay. Um, and of course, we do have a morb here that produces polluted oxygen, but uh, we also have here a storage bin where we store um, slime, which will gas off polluted oxygen as well. And we also don't have any slime on here, but we got a bit of uh, slime from, from the uh, asteroid that we, we had a look there. All right, we are done with the... Um, with the uh, uh, hydrogen rocket so let's call this episode a day 
and uh, next time we will see what we can do with this new and powerful rocket.